Hey everybody, Ron the Future here. How are you guys doing? Today I wanted to show you something kind of special to me. I'm going through some old pictures right now. And as you can see, I have some pictures of the cast from Bonanza. Well, almost the whole cast. Adam isn't there. Well, anyway, I was going through some old pictures and I have kind of a neat story to tell you on these pictures from Bonanza, the TV series from the 50s and 60s the Western television series. So my mom was always a big TV Western fan. So that's where I got it from. I started watching TV shows, Bonanza, Big Valley, The Rifleman, those kind of shows when I was a little kid because my mom watched them. So what happened when I was 13 years old, my mom and dad took me and they wanted to see it too to Incline Village, Nevada. It's up there by Lake Tahoe. And this picture here, that's the Ponderosa, as you can see. And they had a tour, and we went inside there, took the tour, and they have a western town you can visit and all that. Now what most people probably don't know is this Ponderosa Ranch here came about 10 years later than the one you see on TV. The one you see on TV was done on a sound stage at Paramount Studios in Hollywood. As you can see when you see this picture here and this one here, you see how bright it is with the sunlight? When you watch Bonanza, the TV show, you never see the Ponderosa Ranch or the Cartwrights lit up like that with so much sun. That's because they're on a sound stage with artificial lighting. So the whole Ponderosa Ranch, the home and the barn was done on a sound stage. They built this in Incline Village about 10 years later to promote the show and have tours. They do have a town that's right here, but they didn't use that town in Bonanza. Again, the town was filmed at Paramount Studios right by the sound stage at the studios. So this here was just a town, you know, you can take a tour through and, and buy like blown glass and, and different items, you know, from the show, mugs and cups and probably t-shirts and all that. So if you ever watch the show, I noticed that when I was a little kid. I asked my mom about that and she didn't know. How come the pictures have the bright sunlight and when you watch the movie or the TV show, it's not that bright? That's because it was on the sound stage with artificial lighting. So I just thought I'd share that with you guys. I don't collect uh, Bonanza items. I have items that my mom and dad bought when I was 13 years old when we went to the Ponderosa, you know, like I said, mugs and cups and different items like that. So I thought I would just share this little bit of information with you. There's a business card I saved, Ponderosa Ranch. I have to look this up. I have to Google it. The last time I did, maybe five years ago, they said the ranch has been closed down and uh, I think they were going to sell all that land and I think they were going to build condominiums or homes there. So I haven't Googled it lately. I was always hoping they'd keep the ranch open, but um, I don't know, I'll have to Google it. Seems like nowadays they just want to tear down history and, uh, and build commercial buildings or homes over it. So anyway, that was just a quick little story. I just want to tell you guys, they did say they did uh, shoot some episodes here at the Ponderosa once in a while. And also too, I knew something was wrong because every time I watched Bonanza, it never really rained and it never snowed. And this is right by Lake Tahoe and they got a lot, you know, tons and tons of snow. So I should have known as a little kid that was done on a sound stage, but I didn't know much about movies and TV shows back then. 
So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my few pictures here. There's little Joe, Haas, and Ben with some ladies in the town. And let me know if you're a fan of Bonanza. And I hope you enjoy these pictures. So let me know what you guys think. And you guys take care. And I'll talk to you next time.